PSHE education is personal, social, health and economic education. It's the curriculum subject where we address a range of issues, topics and matters in young people's lives which prepare them to deal with those issues now and in the future. The association works with schools, teachers and local authorities around the country. It's our job to train those teachers to give them the right resources so they can deliver high quality lessons. People think PSHE comes at the expense of academic learning. In fact, the opposite is true. If delivered well, PSHE education has the potential to have a significant impact, not just on pupil health and well-being, but also on academic attainment and employability too. Ofsted's 2013 report showed that all but two of the schools graded outstanding at their last Section 5 inspection were also graded outstanding for PSHE. I want you to go out and say you have permission to do safeguarding through the PSHE curriculum because you need to be seen as crucial to the school's efforts to meet those statutory responsibilities. The PSHE Association is playing a very key role in kind of holding things together for young people. It's giving national support at a time when local support has really dwindled. One of the biggest challenges for schools for PSHE is um, the lack of training for teachers. Nobody trains as a PSHE teacher in the first place. We need to ensure that every young person, when they have a PSHE lesson, has it delivered by a trained teacher and has it in adequate curriculum time. We're being bombarded with issues that before we really didn't have to confront in the classroom. Pornography, sexting, cyberbullying. And as the world is changing, Really, PSHE is a subject within the curriculum that's helping young people to make sense of this. We can tackle the stigma, we can inform young people about where they can get more information or where they can find support or how they can be a good support to friends. The PSHE Association gives me a lot in terms of the resources, events like the conference today. Just knowing that there's a, a body of expertise there when I'm floundering and not quite knowing what to do. Having that um, link to a professional organisation where I know that I can go to for quick advice. It's a wonderful place to go and for me to keep updated and also to let other people know what's available and what's out there for their own support. It's been really good to get so many people together and uh, so many teachers and practitioners from around the country. Events like this and the training and services we offer can help to support PSAT teachers um, in their day-to-day -day teaching. PSAT remains a non-statutory subject and until it gets the recognition it needs, the PSAT Association has a critical role nationally lobbying on behalf of the subject. If we can have PSAT at the core of a school's curriculum, I think um, studies have shown that academic attainment will go up. What you do every day is crucially important to children and young people across the country. You're at the forefront of the debate about what education is for. Should it just be preparing children and young people for exams? I think we think not. I think it's got to be about preparing them for far, far more. Please bear in mind that you're part of a much bigger community, all working towards the same goal. And we at the National Association are going to be with you every step of the way.